before we can go ahead actually capturing all of the crash reports, errors, bugs in our production application, we need to install a tool uh, to actually enable us to do that. And to do that in this course, we'll be using Instabug, who sponsored this course to make it freely available to everyone. Uh, and in order to do that, a caveat I need to add, which I added in the introduction, but in case you missed it or forgot, you need to be using a project, a React Native project that has both the iOS and Android native projects in them. Basically, that means if you want to use Instabug, you can't be using Expo, or if you're using Expo, you can't really use uh, Instabug at this point in time. So what you're going to have to do is either create your project with React Native init, or if you're using Expo, you'll need to eject from Expo. With that out of the way, we can actually go ahead and start the really easy installation process. But what we'll do is say yarn add uh, instabug dash react native. You could also use npm install if that's your preference. And once that's done, we'll just say react native link instabug dash react native. And that'll go ahead and link all of the native dependencies for us in both iOS and Android. With that done, uh, we can actually go ahead and open up the installation guide. So what I've got here is just a brand new Instabug project. And you can go ahead and click these see in integration steps. We've done these first two steps, uh, then we can go ahead and configure iOS. And to do that, we'll go to our text editor, open up app.js, and import Instabug from Instabug React Native. We'll then dive into our constructor, which I've got to add here. Kind of do that little bit of boilerplate. And then we can go ahead and grab this instabug.start with token. Uh, make sure to use your own token here because this one's not going to work. So what we've got is instabug.start with token. We've got our identifier. And then we're telling it how to actually in invoke some of the instabug user features. So like bug reporting, just tell your user to shake the device. There's also other options if you want to give them a different way, but that's kind of beyond the scope of uh, this class. So we're, we've got iOS set up. Let's go ahead and do Android next. So in Android, we need to actually go into our main application.java. So I'll go ahead and pull that up. And main application.java is going to live in the Android app source main java com, uh, whatever your project name is. And then inside of there already, when you ran React Native Link, it should have uh, added in this rn instabug react native package builder and all you've got to do is just drop in your project token and then you can go ahead and change things so we've got how to invoke it shake we've got a primary color so on and so forth so we can go ahead and do that now an important step even if you're just using ios or you're just using android go ahead and run react native run ios uh, to make sure it builds you're going to want to do this for ios development iOS release mode, which we covered how to do that previously. And you'll also want to do the same for Android uh, in both development and release. Full disclosure, when I was working on this course yesterday, that's why I'm wearing the third shirt of this course, uh, there was a bug with the Instabug React Native Android integration. It wouldn't build. And I would have missed that if I didn't go ahead and test it. So it's really important. Something I've seen a lot of my clients struggle with uh, is they installed something you know, two weeks ago, they didn't test it on Android, they released it or they're about to release and they're finally testing it on Android. And it's just now biting them and it's harder to debug things. So whenever you're installing a new package, whenever you're installing, especially a new package with native dependencies, make sure to spend some time to check that you can build the application for I, uh, development and production, and then that you can build the application for iOS and Android. Uh, for Android in both development and production. So it's just kind of a word of caution, uh, word from experience, just make sure everything builds after you install something new.